now. It is May, and in May, it is considered the mental awareness awareness month. So we have a psychologist in the building. She goes by the name Will Kista Juma, and she'll be telling us. We'll be talking. Uh, we'll be talking about mental awareness, mental health, and just getting into it a bit and you know making sure that we are fine and checking out for our friends are we together will kista how are you uh, i'm okay uh-huh yeah. welcome to the show thank you so kindly introduce yourself uh maybe tell us what it is that you do and where you work maybe okay um i'm will kista mm -hmm. juma a counseling psychologist yeah I work at uh, Zitec University mm -hmm. as the student affairs officer mm -hmm. in charge of placement and uh, counseling, of course. Yeah. Yes, I'm so happy to be here today. We're happy to have you as well. So before you even get to mental health, I, I know you've had <laughs> our discussion over here. <laughs> and we're just asking young people out there, because it is young people who are watching this station, mm -hmm. how would they want to start their marriages? Maybe the legal way or come we stay? What are your thoughts about that? And being a counselor, dealing with students, what have you encountered? Of course, the legal way. Uh -huh. Thank you. You want, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um, you want to be sure about yeah. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. There's courtship, uh, friendship, mm -hmm. and which leads to, mm -hmm. to, to marriage. Yeah. You just can't go stay with someone that mm -hmm. you don't know whether you're friends, mm -hmm. whether you are, I mean, you have Ujari to be little. sure of what you're doing in that relationship. Yeah. Yes, of okay. course, it's a process, mm -hmm. but legal way. Mm -hmm. The legal way. Yeah, it All right, legal okay, way. okay. Meskia yeah. kutoka kwa psychologist mwenyewe. So let's get into mental health. Maybe, um, what is being mentally well or being mentally healthy? Um, when you talk about mental wellness, mm -hmm. it's about you being able to do your stuff, um, run your life, do you, the things you usually do mm -hmm. in the normal way without um, people feeling like you're going out of the, the normal. Yeah. Um, it's about you feeling okay, like psychologically, mm -hmm. emotionally, mm -hmm. and your behavior. It's about your thoughts, yeah. your thinking. Mm -hmm the way you are behaving you know the thoughts makes you feel something mm -hmm. the way you feel your feelings and then behavior yeah yeah so it's a, a three mm -hmm. thing. three things so yeah. it's the thoughts the behavior and the, your thoughts first your thoughts uh -huh. then you feel uh -huh. then you feel then, and then, then you, you behave act, then you behave okay so it's about how uh -huh. do you think uh -huh. how do you feel mm -hmm. and how and do how you, you act behave. Oh, okay moment. all right so um how would you spot someone who is mentally unwell? Um, or how would we know them if they are maybe amongst us? You'd know them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you're having mental problems, the people who are close to you are able to tell you that, hey, hey kuna kitu mbaya hapa, you know? Yeah. Uh, the, the friends talk about it, mm -hmm. family talk maybe about it. You feel it, mm -hmm. you think, the way you, okay, I, t today maybe I'll be able to explain to you how your thoughts are supposed to process things and yes. how to know when they are distorted mm -hmm. and the way you are feeling. Is it right to feel this way? Mm -hmm. When is it wrong or when are you having um, mental problems? And is it right to behave this way? Especially behavior. Most people will look at the behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They look at, at your behavior and say, hey, kuna oh, kitu mbaya. Kuna there's, there's something wrong with this person. Mm -hmm. But before the behavior, what are you thinking? Mm -hmm. What are you feeling? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to men, you've said that people will notice mm -hmm. and we will get to see that. Mm -hmm. Maybe what are some of the conditions that men mentally unwell people have? conditions like mm -hmm. symptoms mm -hmm. um mental like cognitive eh? mm -hmm. you will start thinking in a way that is not maybe okay mm -hmm. I, I there are extremes mm -hmm. extremes are, are when you start hearing voices yeah okay mm -hmm. you start uh, hearing voices people talking to you telling you things mm -hmm. or you start uh, uh, thinking in a way that other people will tell you that you are not okay. We, we call them uh, delusions. Yeah. Delusions, um, we have 
different types of deletions. I don't want to use the uh, conch terminology. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe if I give like two examples. Yeah, please. We have deletions mm -hmm. of glanda, mm -hmm. whereby you start imagining you have power. Mm -hmm. You know, you start superpowers. Superpowers. You're okay. Superman somehow. <laughs> <laughs> then you start think. You start uh, believing maybe you are the president of the republic. People know that you are not. Mm -hmm. You start some kind of power you imagine that you have that power that you don't have suddenly you become that very rich you become bill gates yeah yeah so and you have delusions of uh, persecution mm -hmm. sometimes you feel like people are you've seen those people who feel like people are following them yes they're following you're working at a place and people are like mm -hmm. someone just start behaving weird mm -hmm. oh people are after me you mm -hmm. know what mm -hmm. one itaki mazuri okay yeah, there's maybe there's something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. So, so that the thought process is is changing. Yes. So you start talking about things that are not that are, are not, not there. are not real. Mm -hmm. That is maybe on the extreme side. Mm -hmm. But you can also feel very very stressed. Mm -hmm. Very stressed. You have stress. We have depression. That's mm -hmm. on another level. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if you're so stressed to the extent you cannot do your normal things well, maybe you're you're moving from this stage to. Mm -hmm, to to a one. more mental mental situation. Mm -hmm. Feelings, when you start feeling like you don't want to associate with people completely, mm -hmm. you want to lock yourself in your room, uh, maybe you're at home, you don't want to talk to your parents, mm -hmm. you want maybe with your gadgets. Uh, socially, you isolate yourself. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is a something that is, that is coming up. Yeah. Then, uh, you see, you've withdrawn socially, mm -hmm. You don't want to, you are not excited over the things that uh, usually excite you. Yeah. Like, you used to love football, football and then suddenly you, you don't no want to go. It, you yes. don't want to watch that game. Mm -hmm. You don't want to play that video game you used to like mm -hmm. playing. You want to keep to yourself. Maybe there is a There's problem. There's a problem. You mm -hmm. Emotionally, you feel like people don't love you. Mm -hmm. Then you start feeling very sad. You get so irritable, mm -hmm. you start getting angry at things that are not even people are like, hey, you and Kitukido, how come you're so, yeah, mad you're at so me? angry? At you're that. so angry. Yeah. You are in a relationship, mm -hmm. you're, you're shouting, mm -hmm. you're shouting at people, at your spouse if you're married, if it's your girlfriend, you're shouting at her. Mm -hmm. You can even become um, physical, you know? Yeah. You're physical. Sometimes you start feeling like. Uh, you want to harm yourself mm -hmm. or you want to harm them to harm the other person, the other person. Or maybe someone else yeah, you can even feel suicidal mm -hmm. when it gets to a different level mm -hmm. so there are those feelings and behavior wise mm -hmm. we have conditions that um people will just notice you are you're out of your mind yeah like when you start picking papers you mm -hmm. see you start um doing things you become violent yeah. as in you go to where people are you start fighting people mm -hmm. Maybe that is on the extreme yeah. side, eh? mm -hmm. but somehow behavior is people will also know. They will know this that there's something, something, something off. is not right. Yeah. Something is off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what causes mental illness? Um, mental illness is caused by different things. Mm -hmm. Do you know that even um, the experiences, your normal life experiences can cause mental, yeah. mental problems? Mm -hmm. right? It doesn't have to be hereditary. or It is. Mm -hmm. It is one of one of them. Yes, it's the biggest is um, genetic mm -hmm. heredity. Mm -hmm. You find that if, say, in your family there is someone, an uncle, an aunt, your mm -hmm. grandparents had problems noticeable. Sometimes you kitambo people didn't know that it was yeah, it mental, mental problems. Mm -hmm. They were saying, ah, that guy used just to keep to himself. Mm. That guy used to not like doing things or mm -hmm. being with people. Didn't la love social life. Maybe the person had that. Had an had history. There's, there's a history in your family. Mm -hmm. So when you come for, um, for counseling, the first thing is to check the history. Mm -hmm. So uh, your genes, hereditary factors, those are point number one to yeah, check. Yeah. That in your family lineage, mm -hmm. is there a person who ever behaved in yeah. a, in a way that way. people felt mm -hmm. it was not, not right? Normal. Yeah. So that comes number one. Mm -hmm. Number two could be there's a problem in your brain. Mm -hmm. uh, in your brain, in that um, you, some hormones are not okay. The way your brain is, it is not, that is biological. Because eh? mm -hmm. it's, cause it's all about your head and the way it functions. So it's, if it is not functioning well, somehow you will develop this. This, uh, this problem. Yeah. And we have environmental. Mm -hmm. Environmental, maybe um, you are living in a, in a situation whereby you're so stressed. Mm -hmm. 
you are stressed always. Say, let's talk of GBV, a woman who's in a, in a marriage where mm -hmm. she's abused. Yeah. Or a man is abused. Nowadays, both. In both ways. Both, it's yeah. both ways. Yeah? <laughs> you are abused in a relationship, mm -hmm. be it physical, be it emotional, be it any kind of abuse. You can easily, it can easily lead you into, yeah, into, into mental, mental uh, problems. Mm -hmm. That you're so stressed that your brain at some point now Mm -hmm. uh, starts having yeah. having uh, problems those are environmental or just living with toxic friends mm -hmm. toxic people yeah toxic family that can lead to mental mental problems mm -hmm. all the time they're telling you you are bad mm -hmm. you know you are you are you, are, you know negative things yeah. it's good to avoid mm -hmm. such, yeah, such environments toxic, toxic uh, yeah, environments yeah toxic. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we, c we have uh, people who develop these problems mm -hmm. because of the way they were brought up. Yeah. When they were young, maybe they were abused. Mm -hmm. uh, something happened, uh, rape, sodomy, or uh, they were exposed to very severe, mm -hmm. severe um, kind of stress mm -hmm. or trauma. So they experience what we call PTSD. Post-trauma. Yeah, yeah post-traumatic disorders. So they start disorders, having yeah. uh, problems mm -hmm. because of what you went through as a as child. As a child, yeah. Yeah, you, you grew up maybe with um, a relative who was abusing you physically, uh, who was always telling you you cannot make it, mm -hmm. uh, making you feel less than, than you mm -hmm. are. Than you are, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can even get stressed by living with a boyfriend who is... Who's, uh, True. Physical or yeah. who is abusing you in mm -hmm. one way or another. True. Yes. Um, how can we support people who are men? Okay, before you even get to the support, mm. what are the extremes of mental illness? Mm. Are there things that are very, like, how, how do we move from, this is, is there a level of that is very extreme or very little and are both valid? Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. We have uh, levels mm -hmm. and we have different types of, of uh, mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, for instance, I don't want to like place one, one mental problem to be higher than, than the other, mm -hmm. but we have cases like schizophrenia, mm -hmm. which um, get to the level we call psychosis, whereby now you are, um, you are not able to operate uh, normally. Yeah. Okay? So, so I would maybe place it on a different level. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have depression, mm -hmm. we have uh, bipolar, which is actually some kind of depression. Mm -hmm. But we have stress, the normal stress. Yeah. We have anxiety mm -hmm. to certain levels. We have anxiety that needs medication, and mm -hmm. we have anxiety maybe that can be dealt with. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. On and we have different ways of dealing with these things depending mm -hmm. on how severe a situation is. Yeah. And sometimes you are just getting into a mental problem that mm -hmm. can be sorted. Mm -hmm. You can either sort it yourself, mm -hmm. you oh. can go for psychotherapy, mm -hmm. counseling, or mm -hmm. you can get medication. Mm -hmm. yes. So if today I realize that, okay, fine, I am stressed, but mm -hmm. the way I'm feeling, it's not usual stress. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Or how do I know that mm -hmm. there is a problem here that I need to deal with? What do I do? Who do I go to? Number one, you have to be self-aware. Mm -hmm self-aware about your own mental my, mental health and the people around you because you know they also determine your health yeah. your mental health so you have to be aware mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you have to make sure that uh, you are okay first you know you cannot like take care of others if you're not yeah if you're not okay taking care of yourself mm -hmm. so number one you have to take care of mm -hmm. yourself be aware uh, know that uh, once you've taken care of yourself, check uh, the symptoms. Mm -hmm. Like I've said, when you check, you have issues with mood, eating habits, by the way. Yeah. You are overeating mm -hmm. or you are not You're having the appetite to eat. Yeah. Sleeping problems, you are oversleeping or you are not sleeping at all, irritability and all those. It is time to, to check the importance for, for awareness. Mm -hmm. People should be aware mm -hmm. of what to look at. Now, uh, the moment you realize that, okay, here I am, and I'm having these symptoms, mm -hmm. you see, then what next? The next thing is maybe to seek yeah. for help. Eh? I said psychotherapy, you mm -hmm. can go for a counselor. Mm -hmm. um, you can go for, like young people we are talking to, mm -hmm. go to a counselor, even you're in college, like you see at CTEC, 
there is the office that deals with yeah. with that, uh, that, that that particular mm -hmm. problem. Yes. If we, we notice that maybe you are having a problem or, or people, the other students notice that maybe there's something that you are doing that is, is not okay or the lecturers noticed, mm -hmm. they send you to that particular office. So that is the way it should be done. The people around you should be able to know that, okay, Uyu sasa, there's something which is not right and then they, they help. Okay, yourself, you should be able to know that, Ay, why am I, am I getting so irritable? irritable? Why am I getting so angered? Why am I feeling the way I'm feeling? Mm. Why am I hearing voices? You know, sometimes you can hear voices because you've taken drugs. Like yeah. Marijuana, cocaine, they have that mm -hmm. effect. Yeah, that effect on Which is also, can also lead to mental illness. By yeah. the way, the drugs, they can mm -hmm. make mm -hmm. you have, or they can trigger. Yeah. They can trigger... Um, if you have those genes, then they trigger you mm -hmm. end up having those mental problems. Yeah, mental so it's problems. about yourself checking yourself. Mm -hmm. It's about checking your friends. Um, after you've checked yourself, you've checked your friends, then you know where to, either to send them to um, a psychologist mm -hmm. where they can be helped. Mm -hmm. And then the self-care, mm -hmm. you have to take care of yourself. I said avoid toxic people, yeah. toxic environment, and then uh, eat well. Of course, um, Eating yeah. well and uh -huh. exercising, by the way. Uh -huh. It's not like the way nutritionists say that yeah. you should eat well, and keep fit. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. It also has a mental mm -hmm. uh, yeah, aspect. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you eat well, you make, take care of your body. Mm -hmm. It is all about from your physical, mm -hmm. the physiological and all that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how, how easy is it to get access to a counsellor? Because I think these days there are so many people who are depressed let's mm. just leave aside the extreme cases because yeah. people are depressed out here and maybe as students students can easily access counselors in their schools what about people who don't have schools and you need a counselor where do you have somewhere maybe you can advise people that they can get counselors at? um yes mm -hmm. we do we do have mm -hmm. apart from schools you see schools nowadays it's mandatory that we must have those those offices in yeah. the tech we have our own office for dealing with such mm -hmm. then uh, the government also has done something i think there's a toll free number mm -hmm. whereby if you just google it you'll see it eh? you check and see that there's a there's a place whereby you can just ask for a counselor and it is provided there's there's a number that you just dial and you get a counselor yeah if you are having uh, those symptoms especially if you're feeling suicidal mm -hmm. you see you know you can get a uh, mental problems you get to a point where you feel you, feel you want to commit suicide yeah. never take that young people never take that mm -hmm. lightly mm -hmm. the moment you you start telling yourself you feel like you want to commit suicide yeah it's a red flag yeah it's a, a it's very a, big red a flag very big one uh -huh. so yeah. there's a there's that toll free number you call mm -hmm. kenyatta hospital has a youth center mm -hmm. whereby you can you can go and uh, you, you get mental help I think for free yeah and maybe at the, the level five hospitals mm -hmm. there there there's always a psychologist placed there yeah. for that because of the need that we mm -hmm. have now yeah mental health is a serious it's, it's a, a serious, serious problem, problem right? yeah so how how can we create awareness um for mental illness so that people can be more aware and mm -hmm. be able to take care of themselves and maybe their family and friends who might have a problem yeah um awareness like now that's i think that's what we are doing yeah. uh, in such forums mm -hmm. And then um, what we do, like, um, I'll just give an example of where I work. Mm -hmm. Let's take, we take that initiative to help even mm -hmm. the youth that are not with us eh, out there. Yeah. L just like last, last week we had that program at Nyayo Estate. Mm -hmm. Just go talk to those people, those who've cleared high school. We yeah. tell them about mental health, mm -hmm. what to look for, to know that uh, you are having a, a mental health problem and where to, mm -hmm. to, seek, where help. to seek help. Yes. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm that is the way we can create awareness going out there and telling people that mental health is real mm -hmm. bringing such forums in 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 your studios mm -hmm. telling people that it is real and then um, maybe in um, institutions th that's where most young people are mm -hmm. to tell them that this is happening and the government i think is also doing yeah. a lot about about mental health mm -hmm. yes people are realizing it's yeah, very it's, very, it's very real yeah and mm. unlike the olden days where mm maybe what we going to say ay we are merogo or something like yeah, people are more open to you know knowing that mental illness no, is real mm -hmm. and taking action about it mm -hmm. so i want us to wind up mm -hmm. and before we do maybe if you have a word of advice to the young people who are watching and maybe 
older generation, talk to them about mental illness and just sum up. Mm -hmm. okay. um, mental health illness is, is, is real, uh, very real. It is your responsibility to take care of yourself and the people around you. If you notice you're having the symptoms I've talked about, just seek help. Seek help be before it gets uh, too late. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. So thank you so much for coming, Wilkista. Yes. You. We appreciate your time. I'm sure people have learned a few things about mental illness and they are more aware. And just, like, just as you've said, it is our responsibility to take care of ourselves. Uh, is there any number maybe you can give for someone who wants to reach out for something, for um, advice, for guidance, if you're yeah, comfortable um, with it? Maybe you can write uh, an email mm -hmm. uh, to Wilkista Juma at uh, zetech.se.ke mm -hmm. or you can uh, maybe call me mm -hmm. and give assistance or I can maybe send you somewhere yeah if I give my number 0710 all right thank you so much Wilkista we appreciate your time so so much mm -hmm. and like I said we have learned a few things about mental illness mm -hmm. it's it is serious and you need to watch out for the red flags. Are we together? Take care of yourself. It is your responsibility. And if you notice something is off, seek help. You've already had where places you can, you can find, you can easily access counselors and seek help. Thank you so much. We are taking a short musical break. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs>